I want to show you a simple sponge model which uh, points out the importance of having a watershed that acts more like a sponge than pavement. Okay, so let's look at uh, a little house here. This is a, a thousand square foot house and uh, I want you to see what happens when we rain on it. So here comes the rain and what happens? The water is out of here! It stops raining and where's the water? It's gone! Okay, so we had this free high quality water falling from the sky, the highest quality water we have, and we just got rid of it, creating the need to import water at great costs from elsewhere and thus destroying ecosystems elsewhere. But we could instead enhance our ecosystem as we enhance ecosystems elsewhere by using our local on-site resources rather than depleting them and creating this perceived need to import water from elsewhere. So maybe someone gets the idea that that is possible when they see that water flow off and they think, I want to harvest rainwater. Oftentimes people think tanks. So here are some substantial tanks. This is a 1,700 gallon tank, another 1,700 gallon tank. This is all to scale in relationship to the house. And now it rains on this and what happens? Woohoo, tanks are full. Oh, but, but there's still water leaving the site. Okay, oh, all right. So it stopped raining and what happens? Well, we've got 1,700 gallons of water here, and we've got another, well, another 1,700 gallons here for 3,400 gallons. So that's water that we otherwise would have lost. But I don't know if you noticed, the cool thing here is prior, um, compared to the previous scenario, we lost a lot of water, but not as quickly. It took a little bit longer for that water to run off site because we caught that 3,400 gallons in the tanks that otherwise would have been lost. That's awesome. But we still lost a substantial amount of water after those tanks filled. So we forgot the largest and least expensive storage, our soil. What we need is the sponge. So let's get a couple sponges, okay? Now, in your landscape, these sponges could be uh, sunken, mulched, vegetated, um, rain gardens, you know, water harvesting earthworks, bioswales, uh, porous pavement, and so on. Um, so with that in place, with these strategies that absorb the rain rather than running it off, let's see what happens when it rains. Tanks are full! Okay, we got a, a huge biblical rain, okay, and uh, woohoo, okay. All right, now I don't know if you guys saw the difference here, but uh, compared to the previous scenario, we still lost water, okay? We're always gonna lose water because there's gonna be rain events that exceed the capacity of our system. And of course we had rain hitting the unsponged side, so that was lost. But what hit the sponge was largely absorbed. So let's see how much water we caught. I'm gonna remove the house, put in this little measuring cup, and let's see what we got. So. 1,700 gallon capacity from this tank. Nice! Another 1,700 gallon capacity from this tank. Sweet! We got 3,400 gallons of water that otherwise we would have lost. High quality local water. You like local food? Well, try local water. Okay, you can see where my pinky is. That's how much water we got from the tanks. But now let's look at the sponge, okay? The earthen catchments. So I take this sponge Oh, yeah, nice, look at all that water. And that's only one sponge. What about the other half? Sweet, oh my God, it's abundance, baby. Shake those buns. So look at how much water we got there. Before it was down here where my pinky is. Now it's way up here. So we got over 10 times as much water caught in the sponge than we did in the tanks. So what's the take home message? Tanks are a fantastic strategy to have water readily at hand for whatever you want. But don't overlook the soil. The soil is our largest and least expensive tank. We just need to set up the surface to allow that water in. So concave, not convex. And then the sponge of mulch and vegetation. And then once it's in the soil, how do we get it back out? Well, we can plant pumps. 
So that vegetation draws the water up from its roots and into the canopy so we can enjoy the water in the form of shade, food, wildlife habitat, erosion control, and so on. Um, and of course, these same earthworks will also feed our creeks, our rivers, our springs, and our wells. This is the way we can put more water into the watershed than we extract, thereby enhancing the ecosystem over time.